Salut un kai bovenon amicui. Estis tro longa tempo antau mi parolas esperanton. Jove. Mi revenentas ci tie de nove. Hello internet friends, once again I'm back after an extended absence with an apology video. Only this time I'm not directing the apology at you because I'm sure you're all getting annoyed with the um, lack of consistency in me uploading videos. I mean my last video was six months ago and my last film was two years ago. So we all know I'm failing there, but this time I'm actually directing the apology at someone far more important than you and that is me. More specifically, the future me. So excuse me for a minute while I have a deep existential conversation with a version of myself that doesn't quite exist yet. Hello future me. So by now you're all successful and you've done some amazing things. Maybe you finally got that perpetual motion machine working or you got NASA to buy the rights to that quantum computer that you designed. Okay, so I doubt either of those happened, but I'm sure you've done a lot between me sitting here recording this and you sitting there watching it. Um, maybe you're not really a household name. Maybe you walk down the street and people don't know who you are, but You've got a lot, I'm sure, that you've achieved that you're proud of, and you've become successful in your own way. So this is just a short little video addressing something we both knew needed to happen, and first things first, I'm sorry it took so long. Which is kind of the point of this apology. To apologise for taking so long. To apologise for the fact that every damn time we said we were going to sort our shit out, we never did. I can't count the amount of times I've said to myself, no, this time's it, this time I'm going to change, I'm going to sort myself out. Look at me now, sitting on a pile of ideas with jack shit to show for it. Hopefully your pile's a little smaller than mine. Anyway, let's put apologies aside. We both know I've apologised. I've literally just done it and you've seen me do it and probably remember doing it. Anyway, all of that aside, let's start talking plans. Number one, start acting like an adult. Treat your body, your room and your lifestyle with respect. I actually started that one today and I tidied my room. Genuinely. Roll VT. So now I live in a nice clean room, feel all adult and grown up and stuff. Once a week I'm going to spend at least half an hour just kind of running around and doing lots of cleaning and tidying around the room because god damn it we deserve to live in a nice room. No more junk food. Except on the odd occasion, maybe like twice a month at D&D sessions. But otherwise, yeah. Cook more. Learn to cook. Find out what the word cook means then do it. Exercise! Dear God, how many times have we told ourselves we were going to do that? I mean, we did for a little while. We went running every day and that was really good. We should do that more. Yeah. Item number two. Learn damn language. We've been saying for years we wanted to learn another language and I mean, yes, technically we know enough Esperanto that we can get by, but when do you actually ever use it? I mean, hell, we bought The Hobbit nearly six months ago, and we still haven't even got past chapter one. So... So this year, we're going back to the Esperanto, we're going to relearn everything, we're going to get right back up to speed, and we will be fluent by the end of the year, so we can finally tell people we're bilingual and not feel like we're lying about it. Number three. Write more. I don't know if you remember this, but last weekend we sat out in the garden with Jamie and Cleon, and we reread something that we wrote at the beginning of the year, and we hadn't looked at it since then. And it was good. We actually liked something we wrote. When was the last time we could say that? I don't remember. I don't think I've ever said that before. I was proud of it. We need to do more. We need to continue something. We need to finish something. That's the important part. Finishing. This time we will. And finally, number four. Self-motivate. We have a huge problem with self-esteem. 
But then, you know, we suffer with depression and the two kind of do come as a package deal. But, do you remember when we moved into this room? The massive mirror above the fireplace, we started putting little messages on there to help motivate ourselves. To remind ourselves to think positively. And I remember the plan was to cover most of the mirror with different things that I'd add to it over the years. We don't even look at it anymore. We never remind ourselves that we're worth something. That was a year ago and there's still only nine, nine phrases on there. I hope that by the time I'm re-watching this that I've begun to feel more positive about myself, that I remind myself every day that I am talented, that I'm creative, that I'm important, that I'm worth something, that I'm going to achieve something, that I have achieved things. But show the world that there is an underdog movie waiting to be made about your life. Give them a script that is worth getting Daniel Day-Lewis to star in. Never forget that you're great, but more importantly, never let the world forget either. So thank you for watching this brief psychotic episode um, where I talked to myself and hopefully you enjoyed it, hopefully future me enjoyed it and is able to look back fondly feeling proud and having some accomplishments to show for it. Uh, fingers crossed. So to those of you who are watching, who like me have yet to find out what the future holds, this I can promise you. There will be another video, I will see you and it will be up within the next two weeks, I don't know exactly when because life will happen, but sometime in the next two weeks there will be another video, I promise you. So thank you for watching, like the video if you don't mind, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment telling me what you would want to tell your future self if you could.